Okay, on to part nine, I believe. We've just uh, put a background image in here as part of the body tag, a little faded image that fades from blue down into white. But when I do that down here where it's white, I am losing, um, I am losing my uh, my edge to my page here. So uh, I'm going to go tr see if I can't fix that. So back here to Dreamweaver, let me zoom back to full size. All right, so one thing that I could do is I could go ahead and uh, create a nice thin one pixel border, a little black border that goes around my whole layout. And I think that would help with this with this design. So um, when I look at my style here, uh, let me just, I need to fix this to white. Okay. Um, when I look at my styles here, I'm going to go to the wrapper because remember the wrapper is that container that everything is inside of. So I think if I put a uh, little thin one pixel border on the wrapper, it'll create that nice uh, look that I want. So I'm going to select that, um, go right to border, and I want same all the way around, just sort of a really simple one pixel black border all the way around. All right, let's go and preview this in the browser and see how that looks. Okay. All right. So there it comes up. Now I can see that I have that little nice clean one pixel border around the outside. And uh, let's just fix a couple other things. Uh, not fix, but just show some other options. I wouldn't mind having a little thin one pixel border um, around my top nav here. Um, so let's do that. Okay. So when I come back to here, look at my CSS styles. I'm going to find my top nav um, definition there and just going to edit that one. And now I do not need borders on the left and the right because they're already there. So I'm going to uncheck same for all and I just want to put solid um, for the top and the bottom. And it doesn't matter at this point because they're going to be turned off. So I'll just make um, Okay, so now I've got those. Let's have a look, see what that looks like, see if we like that or not. All right, so I got a little nice thin black border there. Um, if I do that, I may want to put one along the bottom here where the footer, the top of the footer. So let's go change uh, that style as well. So that's my footer style. So let's look at the CSS. I find the footer there and edit that. And this time, uh, I only need a border on the top and uh, one pixel wide and black. Say OK and preview this in the browser. OK, so now it's a way for me to get these uh, a little thin border around all my content. One other thing, this thing seems pretty stuck at the top. Um, I might want a little bit of space up there at the top of my page. Uh, so I could go if I if I was working and I and I noticed that I could go in, and that again is the wrapper. I'm going to edit that, and if I go to box, um, I can put a little bit of margin in the top here. So let's just try 20 pixels, and we should be able to click apply and um, see that effect. So I can see it jump down a little bit. Uh, 20 pixels might be too much, but let's just check it out here quick. Okay. All right. So now I get a little more space up there. A little easier to look at, I think. Um, so with that, um, we could go on and keep fine tuning this, but we've got a pretty good, stable, pretty simple um, five region layout, but it took us, remember it took us six DIVs or six divs um, to get that, that wrapper div, and then these five regions in inside of it, um, but I've got a pretty good simple um, little layout so far. Um, all right, so that is the last of this little set of tutorials. Um, I hope that was helpful, uh, and I will be getting on to some more CSS tutorials um, as we go. Thanks for listening and watching.